G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel and today I'm out in the field and I've just come across the um, the property owner's dam here and he's had it all excavated out, it's all been dug out already for, for uh, this winter and I thought I'd come in here and have a bit of a play with the monster detector because there is granite bedrock here and there is quartz here as well so um good opportunity it's just all been dug out and i thought i'd just pop in here and have a bit of a play with the with the detector yeah and um you never know um, i might pick up something maybe yeah and other than this i'll be moving on and i've got some uh, i'm going to be looking for some quartz reefs and take some samples and i'll also go up to a few old old diggings and take some samples from there yeah um, hard rock hard rock mining today sampling the hard rock and then take it home crushing it and panning it yeah let's see if i can find i'm still looking for that rich patch okay guys stay with me i'll have a bit of a wander around here and see what i can get and um apologies for the wind too because it's very windy today quartz vein just here the piece of quartz that's broken off it yeah there's quartz all through this um, through the bedrock here but I haven't got any uh, any good signals all this rock here is all rusty it's all rusty looking rock, actually looks good enough to, to take home and sample a piece of this. It's uh, it's obviously mineralised, it's got um, uh, pyrite, fine pyrite or something in there. Yeah, but it's not giving off a signal. Here's another quartz vein. runs down this way piece of quartz I'm going to take some of this quartz um, I'm going to take it home and slice it up it's, it's really really clean clean looking quartz Qu really clean yeah it's all interesting okay I'm going to have a bit of a detect around here in this area just up above there in that outcrop there's a um, an old timer's shaft up there so I'm just playing around down the bottom here there's a lot of quartz scattered around so I'll have a bit of a play see if I can find something okay I went for a bit of a walk up the hill uh, with the metal detector and I, I was coming across this type of rock it's uh, it's like a basalt I'll just see if I can show it to you a bit better yeah there it is there it's like a basalt rock it was given off a ferrous bouncing between ferrous and non-ferrous and if you look in there you can see the veins see those little stringer veins going through there that's your silica, that's your, your quartz, and that's what carries your minerals. And I'm thinking this is probably what's maybe giving off, giving off the um, non-ferrous signal maybe. Yeah, so there might be something in it. I've got it uh, up the top there, there's, there's, um, there's a few diggings up there from the old timers. And uh, I'll take you up there and I'll just show you. And I'll collect a few more samples. Okay. This is the first uh, digging that I found. You can see where they've they've dug out here. They've dug like a little shallow trench along there, and there's a quartz vein or reef that runs up through here, and they've sampled it all along. Okay, I'll move along. Okay. 
Here's another digging. This is the uh, waste pile that they dug out. And there's a digging just there. So I'll have a look in here because this is the uh, this is a quartz vein. Ah, reef, sorry. This is a quartz reef. There's my car down there, and I've walked up slope and got all the quartz um, pieces of quartz up the slope, and I found this digging. This is a new one. I didn't know about this, so I'll do a sample here. Okay, here's the vein, uh, reef, sorry. This is a quartz reef. And as you can see, it runs all the way up the hill. There's another dig. I hope you can hear me. There's a costine just here. Just a shallow costine where they've dug through the reef. Yeah, just uh, sampling it. But I haven't found anything yet that, that um, is worth sampling. I'm really looking for something that's really mineralized, heavily mineralized. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, here's another pit that I found. Uh, my apologies for the wind, guys. Yeah, here's another pit. It's looking up the top. I just got a little way to go to get up the top of the hill. And I'm expecting to see another digging up the top there. But, um, I'm not seeing any anything interesting in the quartz. The uh, the interesting rock is this stuff, and the black. I'm calling it as basalt, but um, that stuff seems to have a lot of stringer veins going through it. So I've collected a few pieces of that. That looks really interesting. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you. Okay. I'm nearly at the top of this hill and here's a stope this is a stope now I've videoed this stope before so I knew about this stope but I didn't know about the other diggings um, below and I'll have a look in here because I uh, They've done a fair bit of work digging in here. So I'll have a good look in here and maybe take some samples. If I see anything worth sampling. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, this is a granite outcrop here. I'm up the top of the hill. The granite outcrop. And then you have a quartzite. That's running uh, strike north south. I have sampled this one and didn't do any good. And right on the end of the quartzite reef, there's a shaft, just a shallow, shallow shaft. Okay, here's that shaft. And I've taken samples from in here before. On my, uh, one of my previous videos, I was up here and took a sample. face yeah but uh, this is a waste pile but there's nothing really mineralized that stands out and this is looking down the, down the slope in a, a uh, southerly direction so this strike runs north south so that's looking down the bottom And there's your shaft and then that's looking north ah south sorry that's looking south yeah so I'll have another look around here and I'll see if I can find some other pits okay following the strike along that um, quartzite reef this is another digging and I've been to this one before, I knew about this, and I have sampled here, but got nothing. I obviously dug this pit just to do a test. And just over here, there's another costine. 
another trench that they've dug just to sample yeah so they didn't find anything serious here that's why they they didn't dig any further okay I'll just have another look around this is another costine that they've dug they've dug through the through the reef sampling it that's looking north okay that that um quartzite vein I was just um, having a look at that runs north south now walking down the slope this quartz vein here that I've just come across those diggings um, this runs east west so opposite to the main vein yeah, so I'll um, I'll investigate this vein a bit more okay I'm interested in this rock it's got um, it's got fine very fine stringer veins running through it and on the metal detector it was sounding off on ferrous, non-ferrous, mainly ferrous iron, but it was bouncing across to non-ferrous as well. So I'm going to take some of this home and crush it because um, it's different than the other rock in this area. And I'm only finding it from about here. So all the way up the slope up there, I'm not finding any of this rock. Only from about here. About... Oh, two thirds of the way up the slope and there's no more of this type of rock and I'm guessing it's basalt but it, it might be um, it could be uh, greenstone maybe yeah so anyway I'm going to sample this rock nothing else here looks looks um, any good looks it doesn't look like worth um, my trouble sampling it so anyway we'll go with this rock and see how we go there's some mica there. I hope you can see that with the sun glistening on it, mica, and also here where my hammer is. This is all abrasiated, abrasiated quartz. The quartz has been crushed, broken up, and then it's been re cemented back together. Yeah, that's cool. And right here is a big, big granite outcrop. Here's some more abrasiated quartz. Yeah, you can see how it's all it's all just lumps of quartz and it's been um, re-cemented back together. Yeah, okay. Check out this um, this is granite, granite outcrop here. And look how it's all been split and fractured. It's just split like that, split open. Yeah, it's um, like a schist it's like it's sort of um, turned into a schist you can see up close you can see all the all the little fine um, yeah like flat layers and they're all they've all been squished together yeah that's really cool check out this rock this looks really cool I hope that's clear clear for you yeah it's got all banding the black banding through it I don't know if that's mineral or if it's some other type of rock but um, you can see the rusty color in it so it must it must have sulfides in it yeah anyway I've got a few pieces of it so we'll we'll go home we'll crush it up and, and see if we can get any gold see any gold in it okay guys I'll see you back at home G'day guys, I'm back home. This is the next day. And um, these are the, this is a sample. I've got two samples that I'm gonna crush and pan out. This one here.
Yeah, see it's got it's banded, it's got those banded lines through it, that black material. I, I think this might be um, what they call nice. Um, yeah, a, a rock. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to crush that down. And because um, it's got a bit of mineralization in it, you can see the red, the red iron. Yeah, so that's that's one sample there. This is the other sample. This is the other rock that I got, and I'm thinking that this might be uh, greenstone. I think, and it's got you can see the the little thin uh, quartz veins running through it. Yeah, so I'm going to crush this. Is uh, this will be sample number two? So I've got just the two samples to crush and pan, and see how we go. I'll get back to you once I've got the crusher set up. Okay, that's sample number one. Sample number two. And I believe this is greenstone. I'll crush it up and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, sample number one. Let's get it on. Let's get let's get panning. As per usual, I just do little bits, little bits at a time. Rightio. Sample number one, pan number one. Let's see if we can get any gold out of this stuff. I'm thinking that other material, that second sample, I'm, I'm really sure that's um, that's a mixture of greenstone and quartz and and maybe something else. Yeah, because um, I have found um, greenstone, greenstone um, in the hills before at another location. So there is greenstone there. It comes up usually the greenstone you'll find near the fault. So where you got a fault and um, that's usually where you'll find the greenstone where it comes up alongside the uh, the reefs, the quartz reefs and that. You'll get the greenstone coming up alongside it and that's what's happening in this case because there's not a lot of greenstone there. It's just a, a small amount Okay guys, let's see if we can get anything out of this, even any fine gold, just to, something to tell me that there's gold in this material. I'm not seeing anything, jeweler's loot job, same as before, but that's hard rock, that's hard rock mining, uh, unless you get lucky and you get a, you get a spot where it's rich. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, pan number four and the last pan of the uh, of the first sample. And uh, no, I'm not I'm not seeing any gold at all, guys, under the jewels loop. But what I'll do is I'll I'll do what I normally do. At this last pan, I'll save up the uh, the heavies that are left in the pan, and I'll run them under the microscope. And if there's any gold, I'll put well, I'll put the pictures up. But uh, I can't see anything at the moment. Not a single speck. Uh, that's that's just how it goes with uh, with prospecting, uh, looking for the for the gold in the hard rock. Let's have a look at this lot. See if we can get a get a speck. I don't think so though. There doesn't appear to be any gold in this material. So that's all the all the heavies up the back of the pan there. I'll hang on to that. I'll dry the pan out 
and then I'll run it under the microscope. Okay guys, I'll get back to you. Okay, pan number one from sample number two and uh, this is the material that I believe is greenstone and uh, the first sample no, I had a look under the microscope, nothing, not a single speck of gold. So, oh, that's all right, I can rule that rock out. You just got to keep looking. Hopefully there'll be something in this. Greenstone can carry gold, so. I was about to say the dogs are quiet, but one started up already. Okay, let's have a look, guys. See if we can get some gold out of this material. Bit of metal from the crusher. That's about it. Can't see anything else. I'll have a look under the jewels loop. I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number four. And so far, nothing. I could under the jewels loop. Could not see a single speck of gold. So back to the drawing board, I think. That's all right, there's plenty of spots out there to, to check out. Plenty of other spots to um, take samples from and test. Okay. Last pan. Oh, now the dogs are starting up. They've been good. I can see some metal there from the uh, crusher, but I uh, can't see any gold. Nothing. A lot of fine bits of metal up the back here. Um, I'll have a look under the jeweler's loop and just see if there is anything. There's a little piece there that looks like uh, looks like gold, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll have a look under the jeweler's loop, then under the microscope. I'll get back to you at the wrap up, guys. Well, guys, um, yeah, not very good, I'm afraid. Um, I had a look under the jeweler's loop and two specks yeah I saw two specks of gold in that last sample um, that I crushed up and panned out yeah not very good at all um, yeah obviously the old timers they they were digging those little test holes and sampling uh, and weren't finding much they must have found something up on top of the hill to have sunk that um, that shaft I mean it wasn't a deep shaft but uh, they took out quite a bit of dirt, so they must have got something there. Um, yeah, all I can do is keep looking and keep trying. Yeah, there's a few more hills on that property that I haven't I haven't been onto yet, so maybe I need to go and have a look around there and um, look for some more diggings and take some more samples. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Cheers. nice and uh, oh, I'll just touch on um, prospecting 101 Mr. Gold I'll see he's put up another another video that's that's good good to see him um, up and about and uh, he's had his big operation and he's he's uh, recovering now so fingers crossed that he's out bush in the next couple of months and um, putting up some more videos of his 
adventures out prospecting. Yeah, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. We're all um, all wishing the best for you, Mr. Mr. G. Yeah, and uh, on that note, I'll leave it there. And thanks for watching my videos, guys. I I, I um, apologise um, for the for the the uh, audio. Yeah, um, I've got to, I've got to do something about that. A bit windy up the hills, and it was playing up with the audio. But um, yeah, apologies. And um, thanks for watching my videos. And sooner or later, I'm going to hit it big time. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for supporting my channel. Stay safe out there. Be good. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hopefully, out bush again. <laughs>